Forget everything you thought you knew about world history because Rome was 3D printed and we can prove it. Sometime your job is the lion's den. For this guy, quite literally. On top of every Caesar's head lies a crown. And this guy, a headphone. The Colosseum, my pride and joy, my biggest project, now 3D printed. Where these to lead 100 men after 100 hours of printing. With the swappable head bust, your centurion can become a centurion off anytime. Nature always claims back what has been abandoned, but sometimes he needs a little push. Go ahead and stab his helmet. He's well protected. Oops, not that much. You've been accessing your bookshelf so little that your books are now ruins. And this wraps up the Roman Empire drop. As you guys know it, Rome wasn't built in a day, so now let me show you how to build these guys. Technical overview. And now let's start the technical overview of this drop. And to start, the head of Rome. This is a pretty easy model to print. There's no much secret and you can get a very good result. The only tip I would give you is to use higher layer heights because it doesn't have many details and it's very tall. So you don't need to go ultra detailed on this one and you don't need much info as well. Just make sure you use three to five per perimeters and you should be fine. We also have two planters in this drop. And for these two, also very simple and the same tips that I use for the head of Rome apply in here. You can use higher layer heights and you don't need to use much infill. Just make sure you have a few perimeters in there so it won't show any holes. Three to five should be enough. And now the Centurion bust. This is a pretty easy model because we thought everything to be 100% support free. So the only tips I have here are productivity tips. For instance, you can print the column using a higher layer height because it doesn't have many horizontal details but you will want to do a very detailed print on the bust and on the heads because these have some very small details that will be very much enhanced by a lower layer height. Let's say 0.12 for instance. Fate of the Gladiator. This is an incredible pencil holder. It's very cool to look at it. And it's very easy to print as well. You don't need any supports or anything complicated. My only tip here is if you're printing with multicolor is to use different types of filaments to enhance the difference between the parts. You can use a matte finish, together with a silk finish, and you will have an increased effect on the material change. And this is something that only 3D printing can give you. The Lionhearted. This is an incredible piece that we took a lot of effort to make it completely support free. So make sure you use a very bright and shiny filament because it will enhance all the little geometries that we have thought to be incredible in this model. And I'm pretty sure you will be very happy printing it. This bookend collection will certainly enhance your home decor and it's not a hard print at all. My only tip, use a marble filament and you get the same incredible effect that we did in here. But we also have a little secret in this model. In here, we have these gaps where you can insert a mirror and it will increase the perceived depth that we have in this piece. Try it out for yourself. The Colosseum. This is an incredible STL that I wanted for me for a very long time and this is why we made it. It's a four piece model that you can print each individually. It has a lot of small details like these statues in here. So it would be cool if you can use a small layer height and be patient because it will take a while, but I'm pretty sure it's 100% worth it. Home decor, cosplay, you name it. This helmet is incredibly detailed, very well modeled, and it's printed in multiple pieces. So my only advice, be patient, take your time and print it entirely because it's a stunning piece and it will be your 3D printing accomplishment to finish it. And that wraps up the Roman Empire drop. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, you can always go on Facebook and on Discord and give us your opinion about it. See ya.